Hey, Santa Graver here. Welcome back to my channel and welcome to a handy thing that I had learned just today. And I'm pretty excited about it. I'm pretty excited to show you. Now, this might not be anything new. I might be very late to the party, maybe seven or eight years late to the party. But let's go ahead and show you this awesome, awesome thing to do with tempo. We're going to go ahead and pull up our tempo here. This is a project, a synthwave project that I've been working on. And I want to say right off the bat that this composition is different from my others in that it has a very slow tempo. I wanted that slow feeling, but I didn't want to keep it at that tempo for very long. You can see here that from bars one to just, just at 21 here, I can actually go ahead and expand it. The beat before 21, I'm going to change it to 144. Going from 60 beats per minute to 144 beats per minute. And I like the, the tempo here for my uh, main section, getting into all the activity. But I did want to start with this atmospheric, you know, synth, good old school synth. I'll go ahead and play it for you just to give you an idea. So none of the instruments, I will say, are polished yet. And I'll go ahead and show you this piece at another time in another video. But it has that very slow, somber atmosphere. But then I go into this more upbeat activity here. So jumping from 60 to 144. Now, I have been playing with this transition up until today. The transition just felt really staggered. I also have a, a noise sweep that I'm trying to build for a nice effect. In fact, um, I'll go ahead and include that uh, when we get to it by turning on my oscillation test there. But, you know, I thought, well, is it, is it possible to dynamically change the tempo? I was thinking that today. I was thinking, well, wouldn't it be cool? You know, I've seen lines like this before, you know, automation for cutoff and, and resonance and dynamic control of those features. It works for automation, so does it work for tempo? Well, sure enough, it does. You can see that it is highlighted in white right here. We've got two white nodes here, one marking 60 beats per minute, and here marking 144 beats per minute. And then you see right here vertically on the bottom here a black node that I'm thinking well can I move this sure enough if I hold down you see move tempo curve automation point like an automation curve tool so holding this down I can well I'm <laughs> I'm affecting this little guy here coming out I'll have to fix that another time let's just try there we go I'll have to make this thing disappear, but you can see the, the point is I've just created a ramp of some kind. We can have a more linear shape and then an exponential shape. We can change the curve here. So why don't we go ahead and just make it more linear, a nice straight line from bars 19 all the way to the beat before bar 21. So bars 19 to 21. We'll start at bar 17 here. And actually, as we do, just go ahead and watch this number roll up or stagger up in the blue text there. So that was quite nice. And how about more dynamic tempo here? Just a nice fast sweep right in the middle there before B4. Let's try that again at 17. And 
and there we go. So it's probably not the, the motion that I want as a finished product, but this is essentially Roboto. This is effectively that musical expression Roboto. And actually there are other YouTubers that are talking about beat mapping that I will further explore where you as a musician just record what you want and then you actually map out the beats in the machine, in the Logic Pro machine, to your fancy, you know, to your Roboto, to that sense of human expression. So the fact that I can dynamically change the tempo is pretty awesome. And this is going to change a lot of how I'm going to be doing things like recording and transcribing and all of that stuff in the future. So I'm very happy to show you that. I'm sure it's not new to a lot of people, but I'm very happy that this thing does exist in Logic. In fact, it exists in an older version of Logic because I have a pretty old version of Logic. So this is exciting stuff. I'm glad to show you. And until I see you next, keep producing the music you love, and I will catch you later. Thanks again.